As you know, the media is always fashionably late, so we have to use our own um, <laughs> Well, this uh, briefing is going to be as brief as possible. Uh, the first thing is that Michael Gordon is not here. And it's, well, we told him to please be here, but he's not, so let's not argue over him not being here. But I wanted to begin by saying that next year, we are going to publish a book called Binomium. And that book is a similar to the Landings book, a 416-page full-color uh, art, artifact or object, if you want to call it. But half of it will be the work of Michael Gordon and, the, and my work. And the reason we will be publishing it next year is that Image Factory will mark 20 years of involvement in the arts in Belize. That's why I've asked the other three uh, Image Factory uh, warriors to be seated with me because I'm going to give them a chance to say what they want to say. Um, so it's a special moment as we plan for the 20th anniversary. And what you see in this room is only a small speck, like the, from the movie. Horton, Horton here is a yeah. A small speck of what is Michael Gordon's work. We at the Image Factory house about 2,000 of his works, and there's only about two to 300 here. So the other thing I wanted to say quickly, because my minute will soon be up, is that We've, I can't see because I use glasses now, so I'm going to ask um, Bree to. In fact, I, you guys have this printed, so it doesn't matter. But we are involved with 501 Art Projects, Juan Duran and Moy Moy from the Yucatan, Merida to be exact. And we are doing these simultaneous websites. One of them, the Image Factory website, Landing website, BZE Yuk, Biz Yuk, which is Belize Yucatan, Merida 51, Dupa, how you pronounce this word? Do a papa. Do a papa. Do a papa. Do a papa. All right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do a papa. Do a papa. Anyway, all these websites will form the new orbit as we go to the next 20 years of Image Factory. And so I thank, and this isn't gratuitous, I'll do it my songs. I thank Channel 7 because they were here first. <laughs> and they are Today and, and 1995. Years ago. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Just to say one thing, the most important media event that ever occurred at the Image Factory, in my view, is when this man, who I'll call him by his official name, which is Jews, he has no last name in the media, <laughs> stood there and recorded Juan Duran and the tape along because he had fallen asleep on the floor. <laughs> and so, I invite Gilvano to speak now. Alright, All right. who's filming Gilvano? Me? Me? I, I could say Who's on next? Who's on next? <laughs> The beautiful oh, Sybil is here. Be coming. You came just in time for me. One minute. <laughs> the reason I'm here is because, like yes sir, I am the last dinosaur of the 10 years of Image Factory. I should have taken Jules' advice, I think it was eight years ago when Maggie Thatcher, also known as Maggie Turner, sat on the steps of Channel 7 and showed him this book called Belize, Made in Belize about us artists, and he warned us that, that our careers were over and we needed to move on. All we were doing was harvesting these young artists and trying to keep ourselves young. Now, you know, when you eat young thing, you feel like you're young. I won't say what kind of young thing you're eating. My point is that how our careers have been over a long time ago. We are not like what you would call the oracles. We're not beautiful, but we could give advice. And, well, I'm usually half nude at the factory, so I think I'm closest to the oracles. Sorry, yes, sir. <laughs> My point is that how it is amazing that 20 years, and I think Michael Gordon started a couple of months before Image Factory was officially formed. Jules would know because he started painting downstairs of Channel 7. And it is amazing that we are at this point where next year being 20 years, Michael Gordon will seal the deal that Image Factory has been successful. And there's this movie, I think it's um, Becoming John Malkovich, or whatever we can call it. Being John Malkovich. We can go in his head, and there's this wild, beautiful yeah. world, and then you jump out, and then you want to go back in. And walking in this room is like walking in the mind of Michael Gordon. And could you believe all this stuff has been in his head? Could you believe having these? You would survive a day having these memories, this fear, this joy. It's the agony and ecstasy. It's amazing his name is Michelangelo. Michael. Michael Gordon, in a sense, if we switch the last names. 
So Gordon is one of the most beautiful artists I've met. And he is still in my brain is the most Belizean of all artists in Belize. Precisely. No offense to Nelson Young and Penn. I don't even mention my name. I'm not an artist. I'm a businessman. The point is that oh, Gordon has become Belize. I mean, he should be on our dollar with no value on it because whatever you pay, it is worth it. You understand? So the second we realize that this is Belize, it's mad, it's happy, there's even some wind power over there, I, I guess that's his future, he's going to take over BL as a shareholder, and he need wind power. But if you can see the beauty of this man's brain, and what Michael Gordon has survived is a sense of ownership of things. He makes things to share it. As I get older, I want to own everything, I want to create assets. But sometimes I don't add the E and the T to the S, so I just create ass. But Gordon sits on the street, he has not been changed since the 20 years of image factory. Not has been changed with the little hundred dollars instead of the ten dollars for hard work. He has not been changed of going to Cuba. He's not been changed of going to Merida. He's not been changed of seeing materialistic things being built. The gallery expanding, Brigida coming in, fancy cameras, fancy lights. He has remained Michael Gordon. And that is what I have loved. And that is the beauty of the image factory. That it has not become a space anymore. It has become a memory and a sense of hope. Time's up. Yeah, well, it's beautiful. Very good. Uh, I just wanted to say. Well, well, oh my God! Wow, he's oh, don't charge me for the next one. Oh, you don't say that. Okay. Thank, thank you. I like to um, ask Brihida to speak and prefacing her speaking by saying that a few months ago she tried and it was a colossal failure. Yet, in my view, an amazing beautiful. success, bringing together over forty young artists and poets under the banner called Bafu. She is the main. Brain. Fulcrum. Brain. That balance the two types of uh, artists. And the, I saw it for myself when they all met the amount of chaos and tragedy that occurred Pandora's in terms box. of nobody could agree on anything. Yep. Because it shows, at least to me, the anxiety that is living inside of the younger artists. They feel as if, you know, they're obsessed about copywriting their work and so many things. Not that those things aren't important. But they became paralyzed, and that to me was a, a distressing thing. But there is success in the sense that we are pushing. We have this magazine called Bafo, and September 1st we're putting the second edition, 120 pages. So maybe this electronic uh, set of artists, not that they're electronic, but they operate in multiple environments. Some of them are. Not just physical. Maybe we need to give more space and more time for them to grow in the real world. I don't say real world as an adult, I say real world as in sitting down and having a conversation and negotiation. They don't uh, understand yet the negotiation required uh, to figure out how to make an engagement with your social environment. They believe that the social environment is an uh, electronic environment, which it is, but I'm just saying there's also, anyway, what? Minute, that minute. Is, I just took a minute to just minute. sorry. Go ahead, you know. A minute. Minute. Oh! Check me. Check me. Check me. You will be the new auditor general. Check me. Check me. Of time. Well, I'm the youngest one. Oh, is that what you're boasting? Embarrass us quickly, Bree. New to the group, and I must say, youngest one in the year. With a dream. I would say I'm very hopeful in the art world, but the reality is sad. And to me, Michael Gordon shows you perseverance because he has not given up as yet. I mean, the reality is artists don't exist. And Michael Gordon is still here showing us, I'm here and I will create. It doesn't matter if you don't notice me. But guess what? I'm alive and I'm doing something for myself. I am trying to live, well, not even, he's just trying to live, not even an artist dream. He's just living the way he thinks it should be. And I admire his simplicity of life. It's not about how much money I make when I sell a painting. Or it's not, okay, I need to have this name to be well known. No, he's just being himself. His work shows you that. And he doesn't care about an audience. Because what he's doing is for himself. And he's just expressing himself the way he chooses to and that's something really hard for anyone to do and I love that he's just 100%
explaining himself and not holding anything back. He is honest. He's just super honest and um, I love he has him. nothing to hide. When you see Michael Gordon, you see Michael Gordon. There's no one else. Precisely. Will you hold this? Thank you very much. Before I take less than a minute to introduce <laughs> Kate. I'm going to let her free. You're getting better. <laughs> Who is clapping who? Check me. Yes, okay. Sorry. Uh, thank, thank you. I'll take heat. I don't, I don't worry about gender. In, uh, in July, right after the Bafo experiment, <laughs> Kate opened a lab called Lab 19, where for 19 days she invited uh, artists, not just young artists, all kinds of artists, poets, painters, illustrators, uh, graffiti designers, whatever, web designers, to come inside this space and create things for just one day and leave and then we just take it down almost an anti-image factory mentality of you know setting up a show, a having launch. an opening, a launch and all that stuff. And In the then, climate of the crime community yeah, where correct. you can be Locked where up. you can be legally retained by the police. I think that's the wrong word, but I'll use retained because that's the only word on the top of my head. By the police for 48 hours without a charge. So that's what we did. 48, that's all you want. So um I will start by reading an email I sent to Juan Duran, our oracle, <laughs> last night. And so it says, So my uncle does always say, you have to acquire the taste. And my case, and my case, as of well, drink Marbe. There's a YouTube link. When you get it, you can read it. It tastes so damn strong that my eight-year-old taste buds never strayed. Sorry, nearly betrayed my concern for diplomacy. Well, imagine if somebody with a corner of bleeds and this fooey fever brass team. Anyways, that is the web's really. That everything connected to Ras, and you have to appreciate things in a connected to Ras way. Es como cuando esa muchacha del benque de la queen le quitó la crown de la otra muchacha. That Ras went viral. And even the news get their footage from a video where somebody put on Facebook. As I said, everything connected to Ras. So, and how can we move in a connected to Ross way? This is what, these are my demands as an artist. And only if you question authority, when you ask the government press office why they keep stating that crime is done and people are being shot to death daily. Maybe, in my little beliefs, more people are slaughtered than cows, chickens, and pigs combined. That is scary. Ask the National Institute for Culture and History to one, explain where exactly are they with the investigation of what transpired in Nuevo San Juan at Namol on the 13th of April 2013. In the light of Namol demolition, what is the strategic plan for archaeology in Belize? Are there other sites which are endangered? Point three, what was and what is the cultural budget for 2008 to 2012 and for 2012 to 2017? Four, why the September celebrations calendar for 2014 is infested with carnival and juve and Caribbean artists? Where are the symposiums on Belizean history and culture, Belizean art exhibits, and archaeology summits? And five, is carnival the only culture which is to be developed and consumed in Belize? Why? Ask the Ministry of Education why so many children are out of school and what they plan to do about it. Why they haven't considered free education since most parents are complaining that they simply can't afford to educate them. When you start asking these questions and realize that there are no answers, you realize these guys building webs are onto something. How? Well, because one, the problems that we Belizeans face are as follows. Connected to the problems as far away as the ideology behind the massacre at the Gaza Strip in the Middle East. Two, it will not be solved if we don't consider the entire structure of its institutions in our country that they have been failing to function for years. We have not demanded anything from them. No audits, no transparency, no results, no demands, nothing, nada. Three, tackling the crime situation in seclusion is a mistake. The crime situation is like a web directly linked to the school dropouts, demolition of malls, carnival culture, and defunct and impotent ministries and government departments. Pulling the crime string from the web of problems will solve nothing. The artists need to stop painting dolphins and realize that we are in the midst of a war against culturelessness. Mr. Humes, that is a word that I made last night. I've been on coffee and no sleep for three weeks. <laughs> that if we do not demand I'm culture in the school syllabi, countrywide, and yearly fiscal budget, we are in danger of losing ourselves completely. And if we do lose ourselves completely, who would we have to blame but ourselves? 
And to bring it back to Michael Gordon, because notice I haven't mentioned his name once. Last night, for the past three weeks, as I said, I've not been sleeping. I've been on a lot of coffee because I'm trying to build a web page called hashtag selfie question mark. You can look it up. It will be on tomorrow, which is my 28th birthday. But well, who cares about that? 28. You look at 28. He thinks I'm 26. That's beautiful. I, I think I'm 19, unfortunately. That's when my life ended. Um, precisely, I have spent three weeks on that web page and I realized last night that it's a colossal failure. And the failure, and the only reason why I'm posting is because for the past three weeks I've been telling everybody on Facebook to go and check it out. Then I come into this room and I am, I am just surrounded by all these images and I realized to myself, you know what? I have spent three weeks doing absolutely nothing online and my reward is somewhere painting, drawing, thinking, sculpting, doing everything. And I think that if we are to claim what well, Yasser said, we are warriors. But well, I think a lot of us need to stop talking, myself included, because I'm still talking, I'm sure I'm over a minute. Am I over a minute? Where am I? It doesn't matter. We need to stop talking and we need to start doing yeah, atomic clock. Whether that's, even if you want to talk online, but make that talk reach somewhere else. Thank you. Beautiful. Well, well thank you for coming. Because. Go ahead. Oh, I didn't put another tape. <laughs> well, to, to end. You must believe that we are grateful that you're here. I saw a photograph with some journalists lying down with the black power sign <laughs> because of how they were treated. Because they said, come here this time and we'll have a press conference. I think it was the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but not mistaken. If the Ministry of Foreign Affairs can't even keep time. Who will? Yes, so anyway, not that this was a time press conference. It's timeless in a way because we're here to show respect for Michael Gordon, an artist that we love. Obviously you can see by the performance that went on here in seven minutes. <laughs> Less than ten, right, June, at least. Oh, uh, give or take. Oh. Give or so take a nine second. Thank you. All right. So once you move this thing, it's over.